Howdy y'all, my name is Price and welcome back to some more Satisfactory. And boy is it satisfying. Let's see how we're doing on our plates up over here, because we're about to finish this milestone. Uh, I still need to get a couple more. Oh no, actually we have 94 on us, we're good. Let's, let's complete this milestone. I think we were waiting for the ship to come back maybe, but we're good now. Let's watch it zoom away. So now we got utility, which Milestone. I believe that's going to give us the biofuel, right? Several structures aimed to provide the first bye. to build basic factory bye. infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel um, bye. See you, bye. Sure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Bye. Okay, so uh, biofuel. The space elevator, which is integral to your contribution yes, yes, yes. I know all assembly. about the space elevator. I know all about your snakes. So biofuel we can now make, which takes four biomass and turns it into two biofuel. So it's a twice as dense material. Um, but the real thing that we want is we want to also go straight for obstacle clearing so I can get that um, wood. Uh, so that's going to be our main goal right now. So I'm going to let the rods build up. Let's go check our copper. And let's, let's you know, do a quick little flyby, see how all of our power production is doing. These guys should all be, they're all in the hundreds. Okay, let's go check our other ones. And then um, we may run around, we may grab a little bit more biomass just to get us through, because we do have all these leaves down here, right? Like these leaves, you can, you can take care of those. We have 800 leaves on us apparently, so that's not bad. These are each at 150, that ain't bad at all. So as far as the biofuel goes, you know, I probably won't make too much of it until we've got the um, this next milestone done, just because I don't think we need to. So, um, plates. My thing is, I'm, I'm thinking I kind of want to go for some, um, what do we call those? The refined plates, the, the, these ones, the advanced plates. Let's, let's, let's look at it. Reinforced plates. I think I want to go for reinforced plate automatic production, which what I will end up probably doing is I'll take one of these guys and I'll turn this this way so we have plates coming in from one side. We'll have some rods coming in from the other. Those rods will get turned into screws, and then those screws and rods will combine in an assembler, which we can now make, right? Oh, no, we're not there yet. Um, that's right, we're not quite there yet. But that'll be the goal, if not at the end of this episode, because I don't know if we'll get through all the milestones that we need to, then definitely at the end of a uh, an upcoming episode. How are we doing on rods? And we nearly have... We might have as much as we need. It's going to be the screws for the reinforced plates and then the um, the cables, and the cables should be easy to make. So let's grab all this. All right, let's see how much of this we can get done. We'll just manually make these. really shouldn't take us too long. Um, so do, 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 screws. We need 10 reinforced plates. Let's make as many screws as it takes to make 10 of those. So that's going to really knock down the number of rods that we have. That's the main thing. But boom, there's 10. Um, another thing that we want to do, another thing I want to work on, is I would like to expand our copper um, usage, right? Um, can we make enough cables right here and now? Oh, we totally can. We have plenty of copper and stuff on us. We have almost everything we need right flipping now, and I think the ship just relanded, yeah. So, you, and you, and y'all, and you. I have six iron on me. Is that enough? That's not enough to make enough uh, of the rods, but got 16 there. I think that's enough. Yep. Let's see. Oops, wrong side. Clickety clack. And there we go. Boom. So let's make us a Milestone chainsaw. Reached. Additional to an inventory expansion. You okay. Are now capable of I need 10 more reinforced plates. Iron rods. Wood screws, cables. We can make that happen. So... Definitely more rods. Okay. And, um, plates. We're actually probably good on plates, right? Yeah, we've got plenty of plates. So let's make as many of the reinforced plates as we can. I think we're. it's gonna take us a little bit to build that up. Oh, I do have ingots on me, somehow. Let's turn them all into, uh, rods. Also, just to clear my inventory. Um, okay. Screws. Do, 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 do. So we can make four. Definitely gonna need some more of those. Well, while we wait, let's get some more research going. I think I've... Have I done any research yet? I did. So, let's work on the 
Additional samples are required for R and D to continue developing a defense-oriented blueprint. Oh. The creature has been named Fakeacoyerus plumius cotta <laughs> or fluffy tailed hog. Fluffy tailed hog. All right, let's go with this bacon agaric. Because I've never seen that before. Because that's that's unique to this biome uh, or this um, planet, maybe even. I never saw it on the other planet, so I'm intrigued to see what that gives us access to. Uh, okay, so. Do, 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 do. We want more reinforced plates. Let me go check on all of our other stuff real quick. Let's see how we're doing on cables. I'm sure our concrete production is just incredible. Um, and y'all are still in the hundreds. Oh, no, you're not. But y'all are good. Okay, let's make some a um, little bit more biomass. Or maybe we should just make a little bit of biofuel. We're going to need it anyways. Sorry for the uh, haphazard looking back and forth. Just picking up some leaves. Just picking up some leaves. All right, let's make all the biomass we can. 500, that's a good amount. And yeah, we'll turn it into biofuel. And what we can do is that we can just kind of like start condensing down what we've got into biofuel. Because biofuel will last about twice as long. So if we put a stack of 200 in there, it's more like having a stack of 400 biomass. So we just have to worry about it less, which is really nice. Um, okay, got that. Now we go this way. Um, and like I said, once we've got the chainsaw, we'll be able to get so much wood that the amount of biomass that we'll be able to produce is going to just be incredible. So then we'll just replace all of our fuel with biofuel. Then I won't have to worry so much about power, and then we can move on to focusing on, you know, like I said, let's um, switch it up for the the copper. Let's let's get that going. Let's work towards the assembler. Um, so that'd be another good thing to figure out. Let's figure out what is our next milestone going to be. So we got personal storage, so increase my inventory slots. It's a cheap and easy one, so we can do that whenever. Um, conveyor walls and all these different types of walls. Those will be useful soon because we definitely want to start setting up some actual factories, um, like big stuff. But I think part assembly is going to be our next one. So let's just go ahead and get that ready. Um, it's going to take a lot of resources, obviously. It's the plates and the rods that are the main thing. So I may go ahead and start splitting this off. We'll get a second. We'll get another one, maybe two more biomass burners. And um, we'll split this guy off so that we can get double rod production and then like I said we'll have the other one ready for um, making reinforced uh, plates which I think I can squeeze into this space here but I may decide to like let's build up a little bit and um, do it upwards from here I'll have to we'll have to play around with the space uh, but let's go ahead and let's put some of this biofuel into this uh, biomass burner over here so that we're not worrying about it running out uh, luckily, we have so many, so much extra power that it's not really an issue right now. Okay, so let's pop in 200 biofuel, and that sucker is good. And you will have noticed, actually, that the efficiency has gone way up. Right? See, it's gone up to 50%. It's not bad. It's way better than it was. Like, if we look over here, efficiency hovers around 30, and over there, it hovers around 50. So the biofuel is a lot better. Um, and if I were to swap, for now, we'll just leave it. For now, we'll just leave it. Okay, um, so let me think about maybe getting some verticality in here, because it's a little bit tricky to build vertically. You have to build foundations down below, so let's go grab some concrete. You have to build some foundations down below, and then you build walls up, and then um, from those walls, I don't know, I don't think you can build more foundations. I think you have to, like... Um, build walkways and stuff. I just don't know how vertically you can build your um, factories without just building more foundations. And I don't know if you can connect foundations to um, walls. We'll, we'll, we'll play with it. I've never really done too much with it, to be honest. Um, it is going to cost us a lot of resources, is the other part. But, um, you know, we'll make it work. So... The other thing is I might just want to completely revamp and review this space. It's the next day. So I, on a, whenever I record stuff like this, I often will, like, the next day will, you know, change my mind about a million things. Um, so, like, how wide could I get this thing? And, yeah, like, with the power lines and stuff, too, it's going to be kind of a pain. Hmm. I may honestly, like, reroute these guys this way so that we can use this space for it. This does give us a lot more space. The assembler, the the machine, is huge. 
So that's why I'm kind of like, I need to give myself a lot of space for it. So let's actually, let's clear out some of this space. And think about using this. Ooh, what resource do we have over here? Is that copper, I see? Or is that iron? Must be iron. No, limestone? Really? Yeah, it's limestone. Okay. Interesting. All right. Um, well, that's good to know. Dang, I wish I would have used that one instead of the one that was all the way up there. But honestly, we still have all this space over here, which is really nice. I don't know if you eventually... I assume you must get something that allows you to break these big boulders. Maybe not, but could be neat. Um, but this is a lot of good space over here. So I think we'll build the assembler setup over this way, actually. Um, and so I'll just need to offset... Honestly, like... I'm being really silly about this. I can just turn... Because, like, right now, these are just storing this way, right? I could literally just turn one of these into... Like, I turn this one into rods, right? And have that combined with the rods here. And then, just from here, we will connect off in this direction. And that will, um, that will be sufficient. That'll give us our two sets of iron that we will need for that. So, I don't need to keep on being a goof about that. Ooh, I don't know why it's slowing down. I'm getting a little bit of slowdown right now. Could be my computer. I think my computer's been on all night, so that might be it. I'll, uh, after this episode, I'll restart. So anyway, let's, uh, let's look at our production right now. How are we doing on plates and rods? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I figured we'd be pretty much good on the plates. Rods, however, are going to be significantly less, right? Yeah. And that's why we want more of them. Um, so let's go ahead and do that then. I'm going to deconstruct you. I'm going to deconstruct this. I'm going to deconstruct that. No, not the merger. Deconstruct that. Okay. And the smelter will be fine. We're honestly just flipping the doo -doo -doo constructor this way. Yep. Okay. We're going to switch you to rods. And then we are going to get rid of this. We're going to set up a merger. That should work, like, right about there, I think. Yeah, maybe a little bit steeper than I thought. Nope, looks good. Looks good. And looks good! So then, how are you doing on power here? I can use you. Do I need you? No, yeah, you're good. Boom. Good to go. All right. So we've reduced our plate production, but we've increased our rod production. It's pretty good. We're taking, and, and this guy we are using fairly efficiently. It's producing 120 a minute. Um, and we are right now probably just slowed by the speed of these belts. I bet you once we get faster belts, um, and I replace all of these with faster belts, that um, suddenly this stuff is going to uh, just start producing even more. Because I think it is just the speed. Once you take one line like this, out of here and split it into three separate lines. I just think these aren't just, they're not moving fast enough to um, populate it, right? So we may be not catching up with this. Um, but still, there we go. Rod production doubled. And that should help us get closer to this uh, goal. But let's think about getting this splitter thing set up. Because even though I don't have the assembler yet, I can start the process, right? So let's take apart the smelter. Let's take apart this conveyor. Let's just move the smelter a little bit closer. So that should give me a little bit more space, I think. So let me let's make sure it's lined up, because the straighter the line, the more likely I'll be able to get a belt in there that will work. Yep. Okay. Break this apart. It's going to give me a whole bunch of resources I don't want, but that's fine. And let's set up a splitter. Can't afford. Need some cables. Got it. Woo! Here we go. Making some things. And again, right now, we're also just kind of waiting. Let's just make a bunch of them. Um, for our resources to build up. We can put some of it away, though. Let's put 300 of these in here. Good. Um, go ahead and put those in there. We're going to need 100 cables, which is cheap. Um, it just makes... It looks like it ain't. Um, let's make a bunch of rods real quick, because we actually have all these ingots that we accidentally picked up when moving all of our machines. Okay. Yeah, this will help a lot. This will help a lot. 
And I still do want to get all the stuff together so that I can make the chainsaw. We'll get it by the end of the episode. But right now, my main goal is let's um, let's go ahead and get this infrastructure set up because I've started it and I want to you know have it kind of ready to go when we uh, when we can. Doot doot doot. Okay. And I needed cables for the construction of this stuff. Five. Can I make one now? I can. Okay. So let's see if we can't get this thing set up. And obviously, I'm going to need more power when I. Oh man, this is tough. You in line? Okay, that's in line. This might not work. It might be way too close. Too close. Would this work though? That would work. Okay, so let's move it a little teeny bit closer, like this. Oh, that's not gonna work. It's gonna be too steep, I think. The angle here is bad. Yep. Okay, so. Oh, I saw it there for a second. There, just like that. Will this work? Nice. Nice. Awesome. Um, I am noticing an issue here. What's up with this? Oh, I gotta reset you. Um, oh, power. Right. Which power were you connected to? That one? No. This one. So we've got this belt. You know what? We'll just go around if we can. I need iron rods. Oh, for the pole thing. Right. We'll have it curve around. Now, I could maybe do a thing where I reorient the... It, either way, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Yeah, no matter what, it'll be a pain. Like, because what I could do is I could take this... Right, let's, let's try it, let's try it. We can take the splitter, we can put it out here, right? And it'll go like this. So either way, I'm forcing this to kind of go in a painful direction, right? But that way, we now have two of these pointed out this way, so this is good for when we want to do our refined iron production. Um, okay, cool, we're good. So, we got that. Let's look at our rod production over here. So we should be pretty close. Yep, we're good. Um, and then if we go get the cables and stuff, then we're going to be good to be able to have the assembly. We might get both of these things up and running this episode. That'd be awesome. That would be efficient. Uh, so let's go get that. Let's go get some cables and some wire. Actually, I won't have cables over here. I'll just have wire. How are you doing on power? 42. That ain't good. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to give you the fuel, and we're going to fill you up with this biomass. And now you're good, and you're still good on biomass. Nice. I just need to check the first two, but they should be closer to, like, 90. Um, okay. Take two of these, because one needs to go up, and the other needs to become some cables. Um... And then we'll get the assembler reinforced plate production thing going. And um, that'll get us right next to having the chainsaw. And then I can just manually make some reinforced plates. Because let's be honest, 10 is easy to make on your own. Uh, okay, what am I making here? Uh, cables. We need 100 of these. All right, y'all. Man, I'm enjoying this game. I hope y'all are enjoying watching it. Um, right now, as of this moment, I have not posted the series yet, so I don't know how y'all are digging it. Um, for me, this is like, this is my perfect kind of game. I could just play this. I'm sure what's going to happen is once I finish it, I'll just restart over and over and over again on my own, just like for fun. Playing around with like different types of things. All right, parts assembly, y'all. Milestone reach. Now, what do we need More for the assembler? Assembly okay. Parts can now be automated. So now we need these types of things: rotors and modular frames. These things are a pain to make. Um, for now, um, we'll get them into a more efficient thing. So we'll we'll wait on setting up the assembler right away. Um, because we also need to get our power production up, right? Because we're going to need to get enough power that's going to be able to handle two more smelters, um, two constructors, three constructors, and an assembler. Because what we have to do is we have to take all that iron. It's got to get turned into... One set has to get turned into plates. One set has to get turned into rods. And that set of rods has to get turned into screws. And then we have to combine the screws and the rods in an assembler. And then that will pump out reinforced plates. Um, I will show you how big the assembler is, though. So, like... If you compare it 
next to a smelter. It's about as tall, but about twice as long, as you can see. Right? Um, and it's pretty wide as well. It's like a constructor is wider than a smelter, and uh, the assembler is even wider than that. So you do have to be more considerate of space when you do that. Let's get some of these ingredients here. Let's make ourselves some screws so we can make some reinforced plates so I can make my gosh darn. Uh, how are y'all doing? Yep. Yeah. So I can make my chainsaw. Do to do, because y'all know us what I want. All right, let's make some screws, because I need 10 reinforced plates, so that's a lot. <laughs> and I think I also need iron rods, too, so I don't want to use all of my iron rods for this. Okay, there we go. We've got plenty of plates. Plate production has not been an issue. Um, and I think our inventory space has increased as well. I think most of the upgrades that you do, you also get a little bit of in inventory space increase. I need another 160 screws, and I need some cables is what I think that was. Do, 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 do. But luckily, I only ever have to make one of these suckers. You know, once I've got it, I've got it. Unless I, like, die out in the middle of nowhere. I think it was 15. We'll make 20. Yeah, we'll make 30. Because I'm always going to need it for power. All right. Do, 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 do. Hey! Now, I do need to make a little bit more biofuel. Um, so we're going to make this biomass real quick. We'll make up some biofuel because the um, chainsaw does use biofuel. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to probably em empty out a lot of my inventory real quick. Like, oh, I love that I have all this ore in here. Okay, you and you. Don't need all the concrete on me just yet. Definitely don't need these leaves. Don't need this carapace. Uh, I don't need the barrel nuts right now. I can come get them if I need them. Okay. I think that that'll be fine. The rest of this stuff, you know, we're cool. Concrete, let's leave 100 on me. Yeah, we'll leave 200 on me. Um, this way, like, I don't have to come back into here for a while. Um, so, let's go to our inventory. Double click on this sucker. We got ourselves a chainsaw. You can see in the lower left, we got 44 fuel in it. Let's click this sucker up. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's chop it down. Got a little bit of wood. So, I'm going to chop down all these trees. This is going to clear us up some space for our... Um, what you call it, for our copper production. And one thing you might notice is that when I chop down a tree, I will also chop down some stuff kind of in the same area, right? So you see all the leaves on the ground are getting chopped, right? So it's really good for clearing out large um, areas of stuff. And like right here, we'll get a ton of wood because we'll get all those trees at once. Yep, 26 at once. And we can just run around, chop down a bunch of trees, get all this biomass and uh, turn it all into biofuel and then we're going to be set for a long time. So I'm going to do some clear cut in here, y'all. Now, IRL, of course, I would um, advocate against such action. I think that responsible tree maintenance is very important. I am from Oregon, after all. We love our trees. Um, but in this video game alien planet world, um, I think I'm cool with it. Mostly because this is going to help us get to a different form of uh, production eventually. And uh, then I can replant. I can regrow. This is not something I'm planning on doing forever. This ain't no industrial revolution where I think like, oh yeah, let's just starve the skies. You know what I'm saying? All right, anyway, let's chop down all these trees. And uh, what I want to do is legit, I want to fill all of our um, biomass burners with biofuel. I want to fill up a chest. I want to make a new pe uh, personal storage and fill that up pretty high. Oh, goodness. Big slow down there with um, biofuel. Um, because I think that that will just give me enough to where I'm not going to have to worry about this for a long time, you know? Now, I don't think you can use this as a weapon, sadly. I tried uh, before, and it didn't seem to work. <laughs> uh, but that would have been pretty neat. All right. So how am I doing on inventory right now? See, I've already got tons filling up this space. And if we just, you know, chop down a good chunk of these trees and things, we'll be good. All right. Let's jump in the water. Uh! Like, how am I good in the water? Oh, yeah, I'm totally fine. Don't even push me along. I was worried that it would, like, carry me downstream or something. There's some weird structures up there, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see something? Oh, it's a little flying flower bird. Okay, we're good. That worried me for a second. <laughs> oh, man. And you'll see we, we are getting a little bit of slow down here. Um, every now and then. I think it's because of all the particles that are appearing. And um, because, like I said, I need to do a, a restart on my computer. All right. 
Getting all that fuel. Now, one could make an argument, honestly, that I could set up a quick little, um, basically, what I would call a, a personal crafting station. Uh, personal auto crafting station is what I would call it. And really what it is, it would just be like a storage, a constructor, and another storage. And that way I could just change what the constructor does, say, for example, make biomass from wood, dump all my wood in there, and just let it do its thing, right? I could even do two constructors in a row and have it turn it into, say, biofuel. Um, but I don't think I need to do that. I think making it by hand is easy. Oh, look at that! All right, that's the thing. Um, so this thing I'm about to go to, I believe at this point in the game, it doesn't do anything yet. It is planned um, to be important, but we will grab it um, so that we can have it for the future. Ugh, when the updates come along, find out what it does. A Mercer Sphere. So you see it says work in progress. So clearly this is like a very important future resource, but uh, right now it can't do anything. But it seems like it's going to be something that you research and then can maybe get some good power or something really useful from. All right, and we are filling up our inventory real well, y'all. Okay. And just being able to not have to worry about power as much, like checking on my fuel as often as I have in the past, um, is going to be real nice. So yeah, we're just clearing out all these here trees, y'all. My goodness. I have decimated the landscape. And before anyone goes and corrects me in the comments, yes, I know what decimation actually means. I'm just using it in the colloquial term. You don't got to be right all the time. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Whee! Let's go! All right. Do, 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 do. And huzzah! All right, I'm good with that. I'll take out this one big tree as well. How are we doing on this? This sucker will fill up eventually, which will be hilarious. Okay, uh, I don't want to uh, chop down the barrel nut trees. They'll regrow. Um, I've noticed the barrel nuts. Um, over time, they will regrow. You can get some more. So um, I would strongly suggest just hanging on to them. All right, and uh, let's not waste any more fuel. Switch back over to our zapper. But as you can see, our inventory is essentially full. I'm going to put the chainsaw away real fast because um, I'll know it's there um, and let's go for biomass wood because it'll fill up real fast yep and then we'll go for biofuel do, 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 do. and we'll just be doing this for a little bit got my green tea over here got it's, it's got playing satisfactory it's a good good time 2000 biomass we're gonna be able to get out of that my goodness that's great so we're gonna get so much biofuel you know, we're not going to know what to do with it. I'm actually going to have to clear out my inventory. Oh, we can put away the Mercer Sphere. Definitely don't need to hold on to that. Uh, or the uh, flowers, for now. The flowers we will use in the future, once we research them. Um, you can use them, essentially for painting, I believe. Um, but that's really nice, actually, when you get into, like, really big machines, right? You want to be able to um, color code them so you know what's going to where, and, you know, what produces what, etc. Um, let's go biomass leaves real quick, because leaves will clear out of my inventory faster and give me more space. But as you can see, we're going to make so much biofuel here that I shouldn't really have to worry about it for quite some time. Now, taking the chainsaw around with me might be a good idea, just for if we get into, like, deeper wooded areas. It can be nice to kind of clear it out to give yourself a better view, or if we want to clear stuff out for, um, um doing our production related things okay and again my apologies for the uh us just sitting here doing this but we are towards the end of the episode which i know means a lot of y'all already probably turned the episode off those of y'all who are still here you're just here to listen to me like a podcast i guess or maybe to fall asleep too i don't know i appreciate you being here nonetheless no matter what reason you're here for um but uh but yeah this game man it's just very zen you know i really love these kinds of workflow focused games where it's just like okay you're you're just gonna go work for efficiency you're gonna work to try and make the best thing that you can make um and you can take it at your own pace you can just kind of it's almost like a puzzle as well like you're trying to figure out like what's the best way what's the most efficient way to do this thing and uh i really i really really like it um so i hope that y'all are enjoying it as well okay 
Um, beyond that, so I've got, um, coming up soon, I should have some new series starting. Actually, they probably, by the time this episode's out, you've probably seen some of them. Just today, so today, that I'm, the day I'm recording this is the 28th of March, um, this game, made by Portland developers, called The World Next Door, um, released. And I picked it up on my Switch, and I want to play it for y'all, so I think we're going to do that um, as well. Uh, so I should have a series going for that. Um, I'm definitely going to get back to Slime Rancher. I don't know exactly when, but because the um, Victor Humphreys update is supposed to be coming out soon-ish, you know, they've done some hints. Um, I would like to have our um, big Slime Rancher ranch that I was uh, working on last time, the one that I wanted to make really efficient. I would like to get that um, set up and good to go um, before the Humphreys update so that we can... Um, just jump right into the new stuff and really get it going. Do, 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 do. Look how much biomass and how quickly you get the biomass from the um, wood is, by the way. So let's see, we got one, two, three. I'm, I'm going to have so much fuel. Like, we're not even going to have to worry about fuel ever again. Uh, and that's why I say rush to get that chainsaw, man, because you're just not going to have to worry about fuel at all. You'll be so good. Like, us going through this is going to take a long time. Um, and we'll get a lot done in between then. Hopefully we'll get to the point where we got coal going. Okay. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to just go ahead and I'll end the episode here. And I will, um, finish up this biomass stuff, uh, off camera. Because there's no reason for me to do it. Well, I mean, I guess we're almost there. But, um, oh yeah, no, there we go. That's it. Okay, cool. And then we'll just do the biofuel. Never mind. Never mind. I already, I already took too long. I already took too long. So I'll run around. I'm going to fill up all of our um, power uh, producers with this stuff. And then next episode, what we're going to do, we're going to focus on another milestone. We're going to build some more. Ooh, you were pushing the edge on that one. Um, we're going to build some more power production. Um, I'll probably double it. I might try and do something where I... Let's see if I can put some foundations above these guys. Encroaching, floors too steep. Like, because I could realistically, like, build out above this and make it a little mini power station there. But the other thing I think is I could just, like, put more here and, like, this area is our power station. Like, I could put more power just along the wall over here, right? Uh, do, 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 power. Like, I could just put some more, like, right here. No problem. Just, it's got clearance issues, it looks like, but beyond that, it's fine. Yeah, it's that big rock right there that's messing with it. Um, but, like, I could just put a couple more here. There we go. Oh, come on. Wow, you can actually go way back here. Let's go ahead and put these down. And then I'll just kind of, like, you know, mirror them. Because if I can get... Dude. Some of these going. Then now, suddenly, our power production just went up another 80 megawatts. We're producing way more than we need to, um, which is great, in my opinion. Get one of those. One of those. Okay, which one of you has actual connections left? You. Okay. And you can connect to there. So that one's done. You can connect to here. And to here. Here. And here. And again, I know, people are like, Price, you're producing so much power that you're not using. I know, man. I know. I'm silly. I'm ridiculous. I know I don't need to be producing this much power. And I'm actually not going to produce this much power. I'm actually going to put this on standby. And I'm going to put this one on standby. And I'm going to put this one on standby. And I'm doing this just so I have it, but I don't have to be using it yet, right? So, if I ever hit that issue of um, we don't have enough power, I'll run over to my power setup, and then I'll just flip, 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 flip the switches on. And we'll be good. Um, but this way I have it ready so I don't have to, like, scramble if we have trouble in the future. So, take advantage of those standby buttons. You can fuel it up. You can have it ready to rock. And if nothing else, I've now got extra fuel sitting around waiting for, um, that I could put into these ones, right? Like, if one of these ran out of fuel, I could just be like, oh, okay, boom, take the fuel out of there. Boom, it's in here, right? So, uh, so yeah, 
now we got that set up. We have, I'm going to guess, uh, well, what's our current? This is 100. So we've got 180 megawatts sitting around ready to go. Um, all filled up with biofuel, so our most efficient fuel that we've got right now. And um, pretty good. So I think that that's where we're going to end this episode, y'all. Um, next episode, we're going to expand this stuff out so that we can do more um, copper reduction. So I can do probably another set of cables. Or no, we'll do a set of cables, maybe another set of wire. Uh, and then we will get our assembler set up for reinforced plates. Um, we'll probably do that first if we can afford it. Um, I got to make those rotors and things. And then we'll work on the next milestone, which is going to be... Maybe we'll do walkways. We're going to do personal storage, maybe conveyor walls. But honestly, we may just work towards getting the space elevator. Because those other things, those can be useful. But if we can build this sucker, which really won't take us that long, then we can unlock to the next level of stuff. We can get the flipping um, coal and all that stuff. And like I said, I kind of want to build this out in the middle of this water. And then we'll just have offshore stuff that feeds into it oh but you know what i realize i do have to actually go out to it there's a little area on there that you have to go to so maybe we'll build it like right next to the water like what if i put it like right here i think that would be great encroaching others clearance the other was me in that situation i think oh it's that rock we'll put it like right here but where's the side that i need to go to this is the side i need to go to oh <gasps> what is that Guys, there's a beast. I didn't even know. Oh, and there's a power slug. I need to get that as well. What is that? Oh, we're going to have to mess with that, man. All right, but that'll have to be next time. Okay, y'all. Oh, my goodness, there's a Leviathan. All right, y'all. With that, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ben Price, and I will see y'all next time. What the heck? I didn't know.